people don't really understand. It's, it's in a guilt-producing control business. And if you have heaven as a place where you're rewarded for your goodness and hell as a place where you're punished for your evil, then you sort of have control of the population. And so they create this fiery place, which has quite literally scared the hell out of a lot of people throughout Christian history. Mm -hmm. And it's part of a control tactic. But wait a minute, you're saying that hell, the idea of a place under the earth or somewhere where you're tormented for an eternity, is actually an invention of oh, yes. the church. I think the church fired its furnaces hotter than anybody else. <clears throat> but I think there's a sense in most religious life of, of reward and punishment in some form. The church doesn't like for people to grow up because you can't control grown-ups. That's why we talk about being born again. When you're born again, you're still a child. The people don't need to be born again, they need to grow up. They need to accept their responsibility for themselves and the world. What do you make of the theology, which uh, is pretty quite prominent these days in America, which is that there is one guaranteed way not to go to hell? and that is to accept Jesus as your personal Savior. Yeah. I grew up in that tradition. Uh, every church I know claims that we are the true church, that, and they have some ultimate authority. We have the infallible Pope, we have the inerrant Bible. The idea that the truth of God can be bound in any human system, by any human creed, by any human book, is almost beyond imagination for me. I mean, God is not a Christian. God is not a Jew or a Muslim or a Hindu or a Buddhist. All of those are human systems which human beings have created to try to help us walk into the mystery of God. I honor my tradition. I walk through my tradition. But I don't believe my tradition defines God. I think it only points me to God. You and I are emerging people, not fallen people. Our problem is not that we are born in sin. Our problem is we do not yet know how to achieve being fully human. The function of the Christ is not to rescue the sinners, but to empower you and to call you to be more deeply and fully human than you've ever realized there was the potential within you to be. Maybe salvation needs to be conveyed in terms of enhancing your humanity rather than rescuing you from it. Life is a startling and wondrous experience and eventually I think we're going to discover that God is unfolding through the life of our consciousness and our self-consciousness and is not a parent figure up in the sky. But I believe because I'm related to something that is not bound by time and space that I will share in whatever God's eternity is. That's a bit more time. Thank you. You can sit right there. You're going you to do something regardless anyway. I'm going to put this right here. Go ahead. Play the first song. It's uh, finished. It should be that piano. There we go. So, yeah. But um, I'm just going to talk to y'all for a second because I'm pretty not going to be talking in the whole set right now. I got about... Ten songs to get through the night. Let's turn it down just a little bit, Milano. Just a little bit. Just a little, just this little part. That's cool. So everybody can hear me. But how, how y'all doing tonight, though? Y'all good? We good. Yeah. We good. 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 Hello. This is my first rap, uh, rap show ever. I've never done a rap show before. Um, I don't know. I'm a, I feel a lot of things tonight. I feel nervous. I feel just feel like performing. I haven't performed in a long time. I started out uh, in my career from the theater, and um, I got to uh, rapping with me and my boy uh, Neek on the vine, and uh, Ace, Ace Spade, actually Frankie's one of the really guys who really kicked this thing off for me, so I probably wouldn't be here without him, and um, yeah, it's just been a, it's been a wild ride, I've been doing this for about 12 years now, and uh, it's just been a, you know, an emotional roller coaster. I want to say it's also just been a reflective as the journey itself. So it's just been um, it's been nuts, man. Met a lot of good people, met Milano, uh, met Sincere back in 
back at the uh, the old school days, the U.S. Bill Company, when, it, when the U.S. Bill was really some shit, remember that? Yeah. <laughs> just, just a moment of reflection, that's all. Because, you know, you never give this shit back, really, you know what I'm saying? You do this one time and then it's over with, you know what I'm saying? After this now, you, you got these expectations, and you gotta be a certain way, and you gotta perform a certain way, and people look for certain songs, and you gotta be able to, you know, you gotta be able to do a lot. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, Nicole. You gotta be able to do a lot, you know? Excuse me. And, uh, yeah, and Tasha, just remember, I gotta keep refills with this water right here, because I'm probably gonna get a cotton mouth and stuff. Yes. Got a little bit of puff puff before I got on the stage. Take the edge off. Aww. What up to ID to G in the back? ID to G! Oh! He was here for our first X show, too. Real cool guy. Is that, who's that, Audacity up there? Is that Audacity? I don't know who that is. It's some brother right there. Audacity said he's coming by tonight too, so that's pretty cool. But um, thanks. But um, you know, it's it's been it's been a wild, hectic journey to get to this point. I got my first uh first real release, homeboy, out of space out right now. Please, please come down. Me and Mulatto on that. It was a, it was a real great record. Thank you so much for the love. I appreciate. It. Hey baby, how you doing? Good to see you. Hey, what's up, Mom? How you doing? I'm Ken Fitzpatrick, by the way. I'm the, uh, should be the closer, but I'll be the opening act for the night. So, that's pretty cool. I want to thank y'all for coming out, too. I appreciate y'all. All right, cool. Lots of love. Cool. But, um, you know, it's, it's, man, you know. I, I don't know what to say, man. I don't know what to say. Just ready to get in there and start doing our thing here. Just let it play out. Let it play out because it's almost done. But, uh, you know, I just really wanted to get this time to talk my shit again. And, um, you know, really get that out. Because I ain't really going to talk to y'all and stuff like that either. So, yeah. My first set, man. My first set is around. We actually did it, Todd. We got here. We did it. I used to think about this when I was homeless. Because I was like, at one time I was homeless. I didn't have no place to live. You know, family and friends left me. Uh, Y'all know, I praise them. I know, I know. <laughs> but we're here now. We made it, so let's uh, try to make it. I guess, right? Yeah. Whatever we trying to do up here tonight. Probably not going to need you. Thanks a lot. Make some lemonade. Yeah, let it play out a lot. Let it play all the way out. All right. Let's get this shit cracking. Chicago Hustle with Ken Fitzpatrick, that's me. I still love the C-H-I. You gave me love, now you make me cry. But I still love the C-H-I. Now, this is from the C. This is all my first project, my voice, my words. This is called C. It's a dedication to my city. I want y'all to check it out, tell me what you think, okay? Oh! I need some hands, some mic, get some light. My voice right, I wanna shed some light About my hometown, the amazing T.H.I. Murder capital of the United States of Obama The greatest division since the day we fair Everybody hates investing to you back They spread out the heart of a beast That will count for his pride The free to strategize with a new small crowd You wanna make it in this desert We show A plus K And we don't do those songs too Like our day Out of town's way I was like God was in their eyes and like a party monster, we come city lights. We live in the palace of growth. Don't get pumped. We wanna get some ground, no one nigga don't get stuck. We might get chill, ready to ride with your body gone. It's our thousand and the goat, cause we go so hard. Hey, you gave me life, now you want me to die. But I still love the CHI. You gave me hope. Now you make me cry, but I still love my C-H-I. Now, you from the sea, let me see you, see you. Say, I am the sea, and the sea is me. Say, I am the sea, and the sea is me. Yeah, I am the sea, and the sea is me. My city is fucked up, but who sees it? I hate the fact that we are so different to each other. We are very unsupportive. When it is put together, everybody's a relative. What's going on? We were so gangster that it never even happened. The mark is still their bodies in the Chicago River. And we don't have it on the soldier unless it's a killer. The blood will never stop running, they may still live. We're scared of our youths and we ignore our elders. The victims we kill victims of reckless abandonment. We're not interested in the without having the tradition. 
the money and the power and the fame is the thing. We go for rules and the games and the money is down I hate the love and style with all my heart, but it's all times in the road, so we go so hard. You gave me love, now you make me cry, but I still love my CA side. You gave me hope. Now you make me cry, but I still love my C.A. child. Now, this is from the sea, love the sea, you see. You say, I am the sea, and the sea is me. Say, I am the sea, and the sea is me. Say, I am the sea, and the sea is me. I'm from the sea, so when you see me, you see the sea every time you see me. I think of who it is when I see in my bloodstream. So every time you see me, you see the sea. I'm from the sea, so when you see me, you see the sea every time you see me. You, who it is, it's in my bloodstream. So every time you see me, you see the sea. I love my city. I love my city. Okay, so we got the first song out the way. All right. All right.